Well, welcome back, everybody, to Byzantium here in 1.36, Europa Expand, or uh, not Europa Expand, Europa Universalis 4. Uh, sorry if my voice sounds a little bit different. I uh, had to change up some settings for my microphone because Go XLR like laid off their software people or something. So <laughs> anyways, I hope that everybody's doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the series. We uh, we have very little aggressive expansion over here. Um, there's a lot of people who have land that I think we could very easily take. So, uh, what do you guys say? We uh, use a little bit of these permanent claims that we got in the last episode. I think that it will be just fine. So, for now, we are going to be handling some fights over there. And now, we can go ahead and annex these guys. And co-belligerent, tough alt, and uh, possibly feed them some land. Now, I got a comment basically saying that I was like doing it wrong with the pronoia. And I don't think that's true. <laughs> Somebody's like, you got lucky with like their liberty desire. As far as, as far as I know, they're just like regular subjects. They just they get liberty desire from their uh, other stuff, but that is fine. And we'll just go ahead and do this. Uh, that will allow us to annex them if we were to so decide to do that. So we should be able to just piece these guys out pretty easy, all things considered. But uh, yeah, welcome back, everybody. Hope you're all doing wonderful. Hope that you've been uh, enjoying the run. It's been a lot of fun on my end. I've been really enjoying it. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna continue it. Why not? It's gonna do a little bit of conquest here in North Africa. These guys hate me. They will not give me access. These guys will, however, give me access. Uh-huh, right, we need this fort first. That's all right. Now, how are we doing with our cannons? Let's get some more cannons down here, yeah? We are, uh, we are absolutely filthy stinking rich. We have one more loan left, apparently. I have a loan? I have a loan. Uh, let's see here, 46.5. So we are very competitive with the most rich trade node in the world well before our um, our uh, thing is gonna be going here. Let's go ahead, be a little cheeky, and build a couple of ramparts. Make it hurt for people that are gonna wanna come in from the north, because if we do want to expand up here, which we do, we wanna attack Poland here, uh, probably fairly shortly, because we're going to want to start uh, conquering this lands over here, and we can very easily do this. We'll probably see if we can get Russia in on that war. That way they can at least act as a punching bag over there. Uh, should be pretty easy overall. But uh, yeah, uh, mostly just working through the mission tree, trying to make sure that everything is not uh, completely up in flames. Uh, looks like we've got some rebels in Basra, so let's go ahead and handle them. Uh, now let's peace out a job. Yeah. Let's go ahead and piece them out, have them... That white piece is fine, I don't care. And that will allow us to annex Akhunyu. And that is all fine and dandy. We'll core that land up as well. We are coring up everything and everything. Ooh, nice. I always love that. For, for half off, bro, you cannot beat that. Half off, legendary. Let's have you... Suppress the rebels over here. Obviously, we're gonna have those guys, so let's handle them. And uh, we are black flagged because we were marching through some lands when we uh, decided to go to war. So that's how you do that, I suppose. Gain some free mail mana. And a church. A cabinet of curiosities. Uh, innovativeness. I think I'll take the innovativeness. That sounds good to me. Let's have you guys grouped up with uh, the cannons. And have these guys head on uh, over to Tafalal. Now, I do think I will subjugate them. I do think that that is probably the move. It's going to cost us some Diplo, but, you know, does it really matter in the big scheme of things? Because we can just feed them a ton of land over here. They've got cores, uh, but more importantly, they've got cultural cohesion. They are, I assume that they're Moroccan. Yeah, they're they're Moroccan. And so I can give them all this land over here culturally, and they'll just be happy to, to take it. They'll happily take it. All right, production. Sure. Our economy is absolutely bussin'. <laughs> it's crazy how how, uh, how filthy rich we are. And uh, we're going to continue to build these ramparts over on these provinces at Nikopol. Oh, here we go. This one's got a... F so, cannot build one here because it's got a manufactory because it is copper. So, I think what we have to do here is we have to expand the infrastructure. So, a little bit of extra development. Ooh, okay, we can do that. It's not a, not a huge issue. Let's uh let's do that. Let's see here. What kind of Yeah, 
I will actually have to hold off on that until I embrace tech, the next round of tech. Because if we're going to want to uh, fight off Poland, we're going to need to have that mill advantage, if at all possible. Now, printing press is coming, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. That extra 20% trade efficiency will be more than uh, worth it for me to have it for a few extra years. Encourage development in Thrace. Theodora, the 446. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, we are the richest trade node in the world. Very good. Making big bank. And uh, let's head on over here. Kill you off. And head down here. Get them full occupied. We will annex these guys and we will subjugate Tuffalult. The AE is uh, but a number. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get them to like me a little bit more. Right, so let's go ahead and improve their relations. Maybe we can get them some land. Go belligerent a bunch of people. Yeah, this is fine. Actually, we don't need to co-belligerent Morocco, but Tunis will just annex them. That's fine. So we'll go for a reconquest here. No, we'll go for a regular conquest. Need my diplomat here. There you go. We'll have you go up there with a general, of course. Have these guys siege down these sussy boys. And uh, we'll core up the other stuff over here. Because obviously we're going to need to do that. Let's have you guys suppress over here as well. Already on it. Legendary. And yeah. I mean that's it. We just siege down these guys. Siege down Marrakesh. And whatever other <laughs> lands quote unquote Tunis has. And we should just be totally fine to, uh, to rock it out. Wait. Tunis didn't join. They did not join. Okay. <laughs> Well, even better then. We just full annex these two guys. Uh-huh. Let's have you guys come down here, catch their armies, and uh, splatter them. Life is good. Once we get Miltech, I will head on up to go to war with Poland. Oh, yeah. Artillery fire. Looks like we're going to have to get a, a big boom boom stick. Oh, nice. Oh, this is really good, actually. But they're at war with each other. Let's make sure that we are keeping these guys maxed out. We want to actually get that extra trust with them max it out now they trust us uh what's the, what's the word that the game uses utterly the big endorsement there all right let's have the cannons head up there there we go and i will give this all to tuffalot and uh that's it game blouses a little bit of extra ae but it's fine that will make them nice and happy with us i can placate them one more time let's see here let's also see if we can maybe influence them that should boost the relations up and now we can make them a pronoia which i understand now that i was pronouncing it incorrectly i didn't know that at the time but i do now they are disloyal i can pay off their debts uh we've got plenty of prestige i'll just buy that down and as we continue to improve their relations, we'll be uh, we'll be all the better off now. Why did they get so disloyal though? Is it just fifty percent? It is fifty, but huh? All right, we can yoink some crown land. We should probably do that, yeah. And sell it. <laughs> I just keep on wanting to sell it, and I'm going to. I don't care. Don't care. We don't need to embrace this institution. Well. It'll save us some mana. If we let it spread a bit more, we can get it for cheaper. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, let's do this development that I was talking about. We need to get it up to 15. Prioritizing production is fine. That will allow us to click this button here, which will then allow us to build that ramparts. And then we'll have ramparts lining our entire north coast, which is really good. Uh, we'll probably build some over here as well. well. Maybe I can build them over here. Yeah, let's go, dude. So, Imaretti's capital is a level 3 mountain fort. Let's go ahead and do that, and let's build a ramparts there. That's going to be so good. Oh, it's so good. And uh, we can also build a couple in, like, our, our border forts over here. I think that's fine. I would like one in Cairo. Just to make it... that. A little bit of extra painful for people to um for people to siege me down down here because this this opens up all that Hayden 
Really? Oh, ma'ams, you have... You have fallen so far, my friends. All right. Now, Poland... Fighting in another war still. Who are you fighting? Denmark? Denmark? All right. So you hear how we doing here? Now I should probably upgrade you to a level 3, but talking about it, I also still want to develop them. Oh no, we got it up to 65 for the Megalopolis. I forgot it. Okay. So, 10 buildings. And Hagia Sophia at level 3. Okay, well how many buildings do we have here? We've got 8. How do I do this? I have to build a... Uh, Okay, we can build a regimental camp, and then the last one would be a manufacturer, yeah? Well, where, when do we unlock trade station? When do we unlock the mill 16? So we're still quite a ways off of that. Maybe just for the mission we can build something not super important. Eh, we'll, 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 we'll see what we can do here. Uh, let's have you guys cover that. See these this sea tile here. I was just gonna make sure, just ensure that we will not get blockaded. There, nobody, nobody will be able to blockade us. It is, it is written. So it is written, and so it shall be done. Now we do need to get five thousand to get the Hagia Sophia upgraded, and we can do that. That's that's not too bad. So we'll save up that, embrace the institution as well when the time comes. Austria is no longer a valid rival. Poland has taken some land over here, safe to say. Uh, so Sweden will help them and Burgundy will help them. Well, I vote we just go. Yeah, I vote we just go. Uh, obviously, we're going to need to handle some rebels. So let's just have you guys come on over here. Is there separatism? No, not really, honestly. So let's, let's have these armies just suppress over here. Have this 24 stack hit up here. And have this guy, these guys brought over here as well with the boats. And uh, we'll, we'll make sure that we get everybody stacked up to uh, the appropriate... The appropriate... Um, go with the discipline there. Turn off that edict there. Do we have other ones that we need to be keeping an eye on? Uh, where do I have this? Down here, I believe. Yes. Oh my goodness, yeah, we got a lot of them. <laughs> well, we are still converting a lot of these guys, though. So these guys don't need it anymore. Uh-huh. What's our religion looking like? So let's put you guys back on missionary strength. These guys do not need the defensiveness edict anymore. It does cost quite a bit of money to keep that running. However, these guys I will put on defensiveness. Not Zeta. This one here. And this one here. That will help us out. Smooth out the balance a bit. Let's have you guys brought over here. Uh-huh. Shift, sh uh, con what is it? Control right click? What am I doing? Yeah, there we go. And we're just going to get everybody lined up. We're going to do that. So we're going to rival these guys. I, I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> Whatever. So let's get you guys shuffle split. That's when you take two armies of roughly, like, of different sizes and uh, force them into each other. Uh, combat width is 27. So let's go ahead and... Split this up. We'll, we'll keep the cab in for now. And we'll go 34, and then we'll go 27. So this will be our, our big boy army. I'm going to get everybody in here, have them conform to the template, and then get rid of the cavalry that is not necessary. Have these guys split, and I'll let these uh, these cannons build up here. And uh, let's see here. How far off am I from embracing this institution? It's coming very quickly. Yeah, I think we can probably make it happen. Let's just do a little bit of a base tax burning. Taxation is theft after all. Say it with me in the comments. The European mind cannot comprehend. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, we'll just continue to let our finances roll in here. Somehow making more money despite paying, or despite having more. Uh, more stuff like taxes handled and all that stuff. And we will have those guys do that there. We're converting some more lands in uh, the southern portions. And another shuffle split. That way these armies are roughly even. And just like that, we are good to go. Russia will join us. These numbers are um, pretty solid. So let's take a look at the development. Turgoviste is 13. So let's say we're going to take that one there. And uh, all is good. 
just do a quick little bit of that. I'll probably annex as much of this land as I possibly can. Russia uh, doesn't have any of it marked as vital interest, so they will not take it, which is wonderful. Um, I will take one loan if it will allow me to embrace the institution here. So I will do that, take this technology, upgrade my cannons, which will allow us to do a little bit more fire damage, which is uh, never a bad thing. <laughs> Looks like my one general here has no siege pips. This one has two, so let's get you guys over here. Get you guys over here. Now, I do need to be mindful. They've got a lot of men in the field. Luckily for us, they have literally zero manpower. So, uh, probably not going to be something we need to worry about, if, if I'm being honest. Let's have you guys uh, upgrade. Yeah, we'll wait a couple months and upgrade our ships. It's funny, I always get comments about that. It's like the one thing that people... Uh, they're like uh, Leonardo DiCaprio in that meme, where they're like pointing at the TV. <laughs> that is that is my comments whenever I haven't upgraded my ships for five minutes. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So these guys are taking decent attrition over here, but the defensiveness is good. Remember, this is grasslands. This is a grasslands province. That is really good. Between the Edict and the, uh, the Ramparts, they're doing pretty solid there. So let's get you guys over here. That is unfortunate that they got me off that fort, but that is really not a big deal because I can just go with our four. Oh yeah, this should be a, a clapping here. Oh, they dogpiled. I missed it. Feels bad. It's fine. Have you guys pull back to Macdon? Ah, I should have given that province over to uh, Imareti. It's all good. Not a big deal. We'll just get these guys off of that fort there. That should be uh, clapping. Imareti. See, sixty defensiveness is very solid. Have you guys come on over here? Uh, yeah, don't don't particularly care. Shift consolidate, kill them all. We'll take the mill mana. I have one loan. Let's pay it off. Don't need it. Shift consolidate again. That the the reason why you shift consolidate is because it does put as many men in the front row as possible. Uh, that way you don't have any damaged regiments taking damage on the flanks. So Russia's up here kind of duking it out in uh, the Baltic, which is wonderful. That's, that's good. It's very good for us. Let's have you guys come down here. Mm-hmm. We have rebels. Yeah, you'll have that. You have half those guys over there. Uh, so hopefully my mic didn't just get louder. My headphones is a little bit louder here. Let me turn that down just a bit here. Yeah, I had some uh, some issues with some software with my uh, with my pro thing here. I am I'm gonna have to pause my recording one second here. All right, there we go. Had to hit a button to uh to mute my mic real quick while I was sneezing or coughing, and it caused my uh my microphone to like go really really loud for a second there. Don't know why. Let's see here. Can I barrage these walls and win this quickly? That would be best case scenario. They didn't take split, which is great. Forty nine percent. We're taking a lot of a man, a lot of losses to attrition here. I'd rather not. I would really rather not. There we go. Give that over to Imredi as well. And we'll do a bit of carpet sieging down here. Obviously, we want to make sure that our lands are not occupied. Very important. And uh, get everybody up here carpet sieging. If uh. Poland would like to pick a fight. They, they can, I suppose. Probably would not be intelligent for them. There is a mountains fort over here that we need to find. And uh, Sweden. Sealy, Burgundy. So Burgundy's on me medium. Okay. Now, I, th I can't remember exactly who it was, but I want to say it was uh, Scotland got the Burgundian inheritance. I want to say that's what it was. Oh, they're a prince. Really? Okay. I'm a... Uh, a bit confusion on how that all played out, but it is what it is. Rush over here, sieging stuff down. Very good. Sealy's on low enthusiasm, so we'll just white piece them. Get them out of the war here. We'll be able to get out Burgundy soon as well. As soon as they dip to low enthusiasm, I will do that. So let's get a general on you and get you guys over here as well. Gain a core on something, huh? Is that what I said? Hey, free cores. Hell yeah, dude. Let's get on to Krakow. And uh, all is well with that. Again, giving forts over to Imreni just so I don't have to... The, the defensiveness bonuses are just really solid. Uh-huh. Export Byzantine Mosaicists. That's a lot of money. I'll just take the one that gives me the most money. 
And that right there will put us at the maximum for dip. So what we're going to want to do here is we want to develop the provinces that are giving us um, the most return on investment for trade. So generally like um, anything with cloth. Cloth is a really great return on investment for production dev. And uh, what this does is this steers extra cloth uh, production into our home node, which uh, we are then collecting straight cash, baby. Now I'm just looking around here. There you go. Oh man, so much development we can do here. And all that production, because uh, pr um, pr base production increases goods produced in that province is 0.2 goods produced per click. Goods produced, uh, so in the way that uh, trade value is calculated is you take this value here times goods produced divided by 12, I wanna say is how it works. So 3.6 times um, whatever this goods produced is, it's, uh, it's all covered up, I can't see. 5.11 or something like that um, divided by 12. And that's how much trade value is uh, being added to that node per year or something along those lines. So 555, yeah, see like our, our, val our trade node has just gone up that much. Now we're making almost 100 ducats a month, which is bonkers. It's actually insane. Trenchin has been won. Very good, sir. Good job. Yeah. And we can get these boys out of the war next month. No? They're still feeling slightly optimistic about it. Trade company troubles. We got a debug event right here. I don't care about you. Kick rocks, as they say. We've won the Siege of Poznan. That will go to Imeretti as well. And we do a little bit of carpet sieging over here. Hey, hey, hip. And a little bit of scorching as well. If I'm not going to be taking the fort, I might as well scorch it. Make, them, make it sting for them just a bit. And uh, once we loot all that, give that to him ready. And we'll do the same thing up here that we were doing. Just scorch all the provinces, make it hurt for them. So that way uh, we'll salt the earth, so to speak. That's how I think of it. Yes, we are losing mill mana, but does it really matter? No, it does not matter. Uh -huh. Let's have you guys do a little bit of this spreading out like this. Malberg Castle shall be scorched. All of this is scorched already. Yeah, and if it doesn't have a fort touching it, uh, Loblin does actually. But um, like this province here, this doesn't. So this province is absolutely boned. Same with this one here. Gemma Shield does not have a fort. And there we go. And all these provinces have been looted. Look at that devastation compared to our pros prosperity. Now we're talking. So for our next idea group here, ooh, we have options. We totally, totally have options. What do we want it to be? My goodness. What do we want it to be? We could go Diplo for the uh, province war score costs. We could go espionage for aggressive expansion impact and extra diplomats, stuff like that. Aristocratic is always good for the dev costs. It's just like well-rounded. What does Aristo do with what we have so far? Admin gives legitimacy and reform progress growth. Well, that is not very useful for us. Uh, let's take a look at what else we have here. Uh, trade gives an extra merchant. It's okay. Hmm. Religious is always a good choice. I say we go religious. Let's go religious. So with that, we want to save some admin mana. Not, no reason to take this ahead of time if we're going to be looking to have admin mana there. Or an admin tech. So we will piece out these people. What do you mean, these people? Come on now. Come on now. Oopsies. Right, those guys got stack wiped. Let's get our armies together here. Rip those poor boys. And uh, we will come down and uh, start uh, start bopping some... some uh, Polish armies, easy enough, right? Now, Moldova. So we're gonna have to get Sweden out, probably. Probably. Make sure that they're not taking back, especially the war goal. These guys are annoying, bro. <laughs> Let's see if we can just uh, get these guys handled real quick. Occupy as many provinces as possible. A little bit of mana loss is not really an issue for us because we've got plenty of it to, to spare. 
Oh no, they're coming up here to take their land back. That's already crazy devastated. <laughs> Can't beat it. All right. Do they have tech on us? They do not. So there's no reason to take mill tech if we don't need to. Infantry fire is nice. So let's see here. I want to take... Everything I have claims on down here, as well as anything that I have a uh, core on, of course. So let's see here. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, I can't take uh, their subject. Wow, that's quite a bit. Okay, I guess this is fine then. War reps and all their money. Yeah. Easy enough. Let's go ahead and do it. Do it to it. Governing capacity is hurting a little bit. Now, what do we need for our mission for pushing up north? Uh, revenge is a bar. Right, we're going to have to... Uh, oh, I think we can just... Yeah, we can literally just do that right now. With the armies that are already over here. So, that's not an issue for us. Let's have you guys do a quick carpet siege over here. A cheeky little... Cheeky little bit of carpet sieging. And, uh... Got a wall breach. Sons of guns. Sons of guns. Got them off there. Ah! I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. It was an accident. And we'll just keep the whole army over here. Maybe we can uh, barrage these walls, win that siege. Belgrade is a very solid fort. If you can, uh, if you can take that, you want to take it. A little bit of money is fine for us. Sure, I love money. Honestly, money is my favorite. And, uh, let's see here. I'm just going to go ahead and take this now. We're going to go with religious. And we'll just start working through this stuff, right? I mean, we... <laughs> I'm not actually using my uh, missionaries for anything. They're being automatically used by the game. Because this game is actually just legendary, man. It's actually so good. Oh, shoot. I wasn't paying attention there. I was reading something. Oh, yeah, they got a big army. How? They got absolutely dumpstered by the, uh... Are they still the Emperor? They are. Oh, oh, oh okay. I respect that. I, I definitely respect that. Alright, cool. Well, let's get that uh, get that military tech edge if we can here. Yeah. Let's put Belgrade over to Imereti and uh, see if they want to go fight us over there. That's fine. As uh, I think I win that one. I will scorch it just to make sure that uh, I'm able to uh, be in charge of that. The expensive edicts over here in El Jazeera. So let's turn that off. Uh huh. So we need two more provinces converted down here. So that means all of these guys can be added to the trade company uh, once we destate it. And that will increase the value that we are pushing into our home node as well. Because what we can do is we can do this button, this one here, and then this one here. And we want to do this, these goods produced ones, in every single one that we have. Because this will allow us to uh, steer just that extra bit of trade into our node. We can also click this one here, the trade value modifier. It's always a solid one to pick as well. And uh, 55.6 turns into 62.3. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. What do we upgrade? Cav? Sure. Uh, let's go with the shock damage. Oh, right. We've inherited these guys. That would explain these little armies running around. I should probably handle these uh, rebels as well. Yeah. Would probably be intelligent. Russia is going to a war against Lithuania and Sweden. Hmm? Okay. I guess. I didn't, uh, I didn't ask for this. You didn't sign up for this. You didn't want this. But here you are at war with Lithuania. Or something along those lines. All right, up to Vienna. We could release a Transylvania as well. That'd be a solid option. Or a Hungary, huh? Oh, baby. Yeah, we could really, eh, I could have. Sadly, they already have cores on lands that I've already cored up, so I will not be doing that. Now, this is hills, so we got to be careful about it. Yes, go up into Belgrade. Heck yeah, bro. This is what I'm talking about. We want to find them and fight them in unfavorable terrain, and then they take two to one losses from us. Where are you guys going, by the way? Okay. Yeah, Austria is absolutely done. Gotten Getting dumpstered. So, yeah, that uh, integration of the Pronoia there is, is pretty beefy. It's pretty beefy. Let's have these guys go over and over here. Obviously, we have our, uh, our other boys handling rebels there, which is nice. 
we had this guy die, we've got another one. So let's just get him up to a level five. It's fine. Clearly, we're not hurting for money at this point. We can we can do whatever we want with that. And we need to start spamming out courthouses so that way we can uh, take land and, and not be crazy overextended in our wars. Not so bad, right? All right, let's get a general on you. Four siege. You got to be kidding me, bro. That is a... Uh, that's nutty. Let's barrage those walls there. We are well ahead of time on Miltech. I am not fussed about it. Look at that. Uh -huh, I love that. Such good siege ticks, man. 57%. Let's go. 68% to a zero. They got a disease outbreak, though, which is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and scorch this. Get down here and kick them out. Nay, I say. This is my land. And, uh... Might as well wait for the yearly tick to take that. So, clearly I'm going to take these three. Might take all of this in general here. Yeah. Let's see here. I'd like to take something like this is fine. The AE is, is honestly not an issue for us because we'll be able to attack over here into Castile as well as Aragon and Tunis and annex as much of this as possible. Uh, so, all is fine with that. Let's go ahead and... Get this going while we're over here. I've talked about it. I should probably do it by now. Though Songhai's fairly big, but um, not really too fussed about their army. Uh-huh. Make sure that they are not sieging down a single thing of my land. You are the weakest link. Now, Austria's got Siena in the war. They are reformed. Fine, white piece is fine with me. Munich is in the war. We'll see. Yeah, Russia does not need me. Missionary strength. Sounds good. It's really nice to see all this stuff being converted. Let's put these guys on missionary strength as well. As well as these guys over here. Pour it up. Now, the reason why I don't mind coring it is that it's 10 for those two provinces, and it lets me convert it that much faster. So it's, it's really not, like, there's no downside to it. There's really no downside to it. I probably should have... Uh, yeah, this is fine. I do wish I had Deus Volt, though. That would be very useful for me. Okay. Let's come on over here, get those guys out of there, and get these guys full occupied. Manpower and True Faith Provinces... Making 1,800 manpowers per month, which is insane. <laughs> Do a scorch over here. Very cheeky. Yeah, these guys are being annoying with these uh, sieges over here. 68%. It is a grasslands province. <laughs> I love it, dude. That's so good. All right. And again, scorch it. Occupy it. What this does is it means that they won't be able to get prosperity over here in Austria proper because the devastation is going to prevent that from happening. Okay. Make sure Imoretti has Belgrade for now. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's get those guys out of there. Let's put these guys on... Uh Half core defensiveness. Prevent them from taking any more land than is at all reasonable. Now, I could just rush down here. Yeah, yeah. I can totally just do that. I'll take the prestige. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. What are they going to do? Siege down some land over here that I don't care about? Oh, no. Whatever will I do? Whatever will I do? And now Austria... Just needs to get siege down and we'll be able to get out of this war ASAP. Let's have these guys come on up here and grab that force, or I guess our four siege general is occupied. There you go. Turn that edict off over there. These guys can suppress all the way down the coast. And that is fine. Cairo is being converted, which made them very angry with the rebels. Yeah, all we need to do is to piece these guys out, ideally. Very good. Probably could have taken their money, but it's fine. We will annex the U entirely. Yep, very reasonable. We will core it all up, but before I do that, let's destate this stuff because I actually don't want to pay for it. Because uh, it's downstream from my trade node, so it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to trade company it. 
have you guys come up there and just like that we've conquered a wee bit more land and uh austria will will be falling here very shortly we're just gonna do a quick little carpet siege over here and i apologize if my game volume is just a little bit loud it is it's a bit loud on my end as well but hopefully that's not an issue now we have the war goal so that's fine this army needs to get killed and uh, we need to probably actually occupy some land over there if they're going to take it, right? The fort? Yeah, okay. Let's have those guys handle that. Oh, no. Have those guys come on over here. Have these guys occupy all of this over here. And then obviously we need to get my own lands back as well. These guys have been upgraded, so let's have them hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean and just kind of leave them to go. Honestly, it doesn't matter to me. And uh, let's get you guys off of my lands. Lithuania, sieging down my lands is infuriating because I haven't done anything in that war. Uh, no edict at all. And look at that orthodox map mode. Oh, baby. All right. We're going to finish up this siege here. And uh, this war here is going to kind of be the uh, the tipping point where we are going to have to under Like, we're going to have to accept the fact that we are... We're going to end up needing to... Um, we're going to need to accept the fact that a coalition is going to have to be balanced. We're going to have to sort that out. Shouldn't be a huge issue. Just occupy a couple more provinces over here. Very good. I don't care about some rebels in Fazan. I can handle them. I'll have you guys rebel suppression. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go. And uh, for some reason, look at Emiretti over here getting seized down by Austria. Lovely. Let's get that one there. Let's get you pieced out there. Immediately use my favors or my diplomat to increase my trust with these guys. That way there is no uh, no need to worry about that. Very good. Apparently we gain an army professionalism foe free, which is good. I'll actually go ahead and take this guy if he's half off as well. Is he? Did I, did I misread that? He is. We'll get him up to level 5. Why not? Get him up to level 5 as well. All level 5. You're a level 5. You're a level 5. You're a level 5. Transylvania will gain four, so I don't need to core up that land. And in fact, I will also give you guys uh, this land here, Grant Province there. You will also be influenced. And then next month, you will be a Pronoia. And then we'll be able to integrate them for free. Now we'll be able to attack Sealy. Actually, I can attack Sealy right now. So let's get this mission here. Revengeance at Bar. We'll gain some permanent claim on... <laughs> A lot of lands that I already own, but some new stuff as well as a uh, possible as well as an event and possible uh, stab cost and governing capacity for the rest of the game, which is wonderful or creation cost for quite a while and some mill tech or for 25 years here we will gain a e impact and some autonomy change. I think the core creation cost is pretty solid. A e impact is always nice, but um, it's clearly not something we're fussed about. Now I can come over here, attack these guys. Let's see if Poland will help. Poland and Austria will help because they're a prince in the age So we're going to have to worry about that. Before anybody over here can join my coalition, though, I think we're going to have to... Oh, right, no. We, we don't have a coalition to worry about. Wow. This has been... This has been a run. <laughs> this has definitely, definitely been a run. One, one of the runs of all time, lads. Um... So let's see here. I'm going to have to upgrade some forts here. This is hills, hills. So yeah, let's upgrade you. Belgrade will get upgraded. That means this one, or we're going to need one over here. Upgrade to a level four. Um, sure. Ah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to figure it out. Oh my gosh, it's so cheap to upgrade these forts though. These forts are so good. All right, lads. Well, quite a bit of expansion this time. Mostly over here. A little bit up in here. And uh, things are looking... All the much better. Not even 1600 yet, by the way. And we're we're doing quite a bit. So if you guys are enjoying and you want to see more, make sure you leave a like on the video. And do not forget to subscribe and to ding the bell when you subscribe so you get notified when these videos go up live every weekday. Special thanks to Kaiser Dar of Akadia, Geo, Gamus23, Ian Powell, Cannon Fodder, Josh Kipchinski, Agent Rhino, Blonde Damon, Isaiah, Grover, Bubba J, Saranska, Ricardo, Cobalt, Rex Rex, Nathan Albright, and many more.